Uh, this is Britannic. Do you hear me? Oh, you can do better than that. Sorry. Britannic here. Do you hear me? Over. Alex? Nicholas speaking. Nick, I want the old picture. What do I tell my passengers? Tell them the truth and tell them a naval bomb disposal team will be there within the hour. An officer called... Fat. Has the money been laid on? We're not paying, Alex. Not paying? We've looked carefully at the situation. We've taken advice. We didn't ask my advice. We have Scotland Yard working for us, the armed forces. You didn't ask my advice. Look, we catch the man, disarm the bomb. There's still 16 hours to go. Bloody nonsense. Believe me, Alex, it's a much bigger game than you can imagine. It's 1,200 passengers and crew. Do you know a bigger game than that? You have no alternative but to accept my decision, Alex. All right. But it better not be your decision. Alex, please. I thought you put your case admirably. All right, let's go. Right, service intelligence dug out 112 bomb design experts going back to the Boer War, so eliminating dead, aged and infirm leaves us 46 possibilities. Well, two seamen and a member of the bomb squad drowned, another squad member and a ship steward killed in the explosion. Fallon's going to try entering the device through the faceplate. That's all. So much for the Navy. Scotland Yard? You see, you've got the half million pounds available. Yes, we made contingency plans. Well, if I were you, I'd pay up. We've got the cases in the office. Uh, what precisely is Fallon attempting to do? Well, he'll take up position at one of the bombs. Alone and sealed off. His chief petty officer, Braddock, will be at another drum here. There'll be telephone communication between them. Fallon will make the initial dissection of the device. Each successful step will be passed along to Braddock and duplicated. Well, supposing Fallon is killed? Braddock will take over. He will diagnose the mistake, carry on from there. Ad infinitum, I suppose. Mr. Porter, a man made those bombs. A man like us, like Fallon. It's purely a technical problem. <laughs> I thought you were going to say a technical exercise. A chance to use your diplomatic expertise. People are dead. Is that a technical problem? Shouting doesn't help. I know I must control myself and not question government policy in a loud voice. I must write to the families of the dead and ask them not to question government policy. This time tomorrow, I could be duplicating 1,200 copies of a letter to 1,200 families asking them not to question government policy. I'm going to pay the money. I shall convey your remarks to the minister. Yes, I can imagine, delivered in beautiful, measured, Whitehall prose. I can't predict the consequences. These are the consequences! We're living through them! Tell him to stuff his subsidies. Good. I've just been blown up by a bomb, Dad, in my pyjamas. <laughs> yes, all right. <clears throat> now you go back to bed. Okay? Right. Night. I think you made the amatol in this bathtub. I st Still don't. May I? Please. I'm sending for the money. Good. The officer said he was patching his suit to London. Anybody listening? This is the overseas service of the BBC. Today, Princess Anne fell off her horse. Well, hello, Tony. This is Jeff, Jeff Marder. We'll be following along, OK? That's a great bloody help. Clear off the line, Jeff. Give the man a bit of privacy. Don't wander too far. Charlie? Skipper. 
screwdriver is in the first slot. Starting to remove the bolt, the bottom going clockwise. One. Front section, some kind of fuse panel. Not nice that. Open invitation. Respectfully refused. There's half a dozen triggers hidden away in here. All to be cut through before we reach the timer. Starting to cut. Follow me through, Charlie. Right side relays. I'm following. Heads up. Starting to cut the top blue wire now. Top blue. Now the white. White. Got it. And the bottom blue. Brilliantly analyzed. Bottom blue. Got it. Ready to isolate left side relay contacts. Plastic strip should do it. Slipping in between the contacts. <laughs> Downhill this bit, Charlie. Captain, didn't you give my message to your driver? Nicholas Ford, the managing director of the Sovereign Line. You know bloody well it is. Councillor, I feel this arrangement, Mr. Parker. Please consider the matter closed. 